Good morning, beautiful people. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dan. Uh, today I'm gonna I'm just gonna talk about some Purito update. By the oh wow, my room is a mess. <laughs> Sorry guys for that. I I am also a mess because well I had some some I had a lot of alcohol last night and um, I um, don't feel the greatest. I don't recommend doing that. And for some reason I decided to film a video after having a lot of alcohol, but. But anyway, uh, so today I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna give you some Purito updates and I'm gonna uh, give you an alternative, I'm gonna give you? When I'm hangover, my English skills are going away. <laughs> I'm gonna show you this uh, sunscreen alternative to the Purito one, because it pretty much has the same texture, same finish. It is maybe a little bit more hydrating, but uh, better, better filters and definitely better protection. Uh, I guess you already know if you are here, uh, Purito is in like huge problems at the moment because of this uh, big scandal. Um, their sunscreen has been tested in two labs in Europe, in Germany and Poland, I think. Yeah, Germany and Poland. And according to those, uh, they've done tests, tests in vitro and vivo, and according to those, SPF is only 19, uh, while uh, Purito claims it's an SPF 50 plus, and uh, well, I guess it's not the case. It is actually an SPF 19 because there, there's been many studies, well not many, but three. Now, I do think it's not uh, Purito's fault entirely. I think they've been also fooled by the lab who tested their sunscreen initially. And also maybe by the manufacturer who created this sunscreen. They also are creating the formula for the Claire's soft UV essence, soft air UV essence, something like that. Purito was also kind of like surprised by these results. They stopped selling the sunscreen everywhere. Now today I've actually, I read their story on Instagram. They are gonna refund uh, all the money if, to all the people that bought uh, the Centella, well, actually all of their sunscreens uh, between June 1st and December 1st, I guess, which is a pretty bold move. I mean, um, I think this just shows that they are really a great company that cares about their and they care about their customers, like how many companies would do that, you know, and uh, they are always listening to their customers, uh, releasing uh, products that are fragrance free because their customers are asking uh, for fragrance free product, I mean, same product, but fragrance free. So uh, yeah, that was a pretty nice move from Purito. I appreciate them for that. And I, I guess I'll keep buying their sunscreen, well, not their sunscreen, their products. Uh, I'll buy their sunscreen, when, when they create a good one. But yeah, those are the updates. Uh, if you guys bought uh, these sunscreens from Purito, you can actually get a refund. Go to their Instagram page. I guess there are more instructions there on how to do that. Um, now back to the, well not back, but to the sunscreen recommenda rec recommendation. <laughs> this is the Haralaba UV White Gel. I uh, reviewed this one already. I'm gonna link the video down below so you can check it out. It has, like I said, the same texture same finish, it's maybe a little bit more hydrating, just a little bit, I don't think you'll notice. But if you check my detailed review there, uh, I'm actually applying the sunscreen on my face so you can see how it looks. This one has four filters, if I remember correctly, Octinoxate, even on A+, Tinosorb S, which is probably the, the greatest uh, sunscreen filter, and also um, a silicone that acts as a sunscreen. I don't remember the, the exact name right now. I guess I'm just gonna put it here so you can see, but very great filters. I am pretty, this is a J Beauty sunscreen. And based on those filters and the amount of those, I can, oh, it also has titanium dioxide, which is a mineral filter, but this one does have a white cast, so it's good. Based on the amount of those filters, I'm pretty sure this one has the SPF 50 plus claimed on the package, P plus, 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 very high UVA protection also. It has a little bit of alcohol, however, it's not a huge amount, but, uh, this one is definitely not gonna be as soothing as the Purito one, because that, that one had uh, Centella, had niacinamide, which are great soothing ingredients. Uh, this one doesn't have that, but when it comes to texture, to finish, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good option. Uh, and of course, the protection is higher. So I would definitely ch choose this one instead of the, the Purito one, because the protection is, is much higher. It also has hyaluronic acid, I think not only one type, but many types of hyaluronic acid, maybe I'm wrong about that. You can check my detailed review out, there's a lot more details there. It also has a, a vitamin C derivative, uh, which is gonna act as an antioxidant, it's gonna increase the protection power of this one. 
overall pretty nice ingredient list i would say uh, pretty nice protection a good price i think it's like 20 dollars for uh, 90 mils which makes it a little bit cheaper than the purito one if you find it on sale i bought it for like 16 dollars which is a really nice deal uh, but yeah, this is a great alternative. Give it a shot. I guess you'll enjoy it. Uh, it is not water resistant. The Purito one also is not water resistant. But yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you find it helpful. If you did so, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what do you think about the Purito situation. Um, go and get your refund for the sunscreen if you bought a lot of them. Even if you use it or not, they're still gonna refund you the, the amount for the sunscreen. And uh, yeah, also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Love you all, see you all in my next video. The lighting got so weird.